Hey guys, it's Ren. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new to this channel and you have not subscribed as yet, take a moment and click that subscribe button. Today, I want to finally share my weight loss journey with you guys. This has been a long time coming. Like I've really wanted to share this with you guys for a really long time, but I wasn't sure how to do it and um, what I should say and making you know a million excuses as usual as to why i shouldn't share my fitness journey so um let me put some disclaimers out there i am by no means fit okay so i have not arrived so what this video is really going to be is going to give you a background of where i was and where i am today and then it's also going to outline um what i want to do and the life changes that i want to make in the second half of my journey to achieve the results that I want to achieve, right? So, first half of the story. I have always been, like, I had always been a chubby child. <laughs> Too big for my age, really. I, I don't want to say I was obese, but I was overweight as a child. And I'm going to insert any pictures that I find. As I talk, I'm going to just insert it along the way, right? The thing is, I don't have many pictures of how I used to look. Um, because at that point in time, I guess I probably wasn't interested in taking many pictures. Back to the story. So in primary school, I was overweight. Um, when I went into secondary school, I lost a lot of weight because I was introduced to volleyball. And every lunchtime, my friends and I would go on that volleyball court. Not even lunchtime, like in the morning when we reach volleyball. Lunchtime volleyball, home time volleyball. So I was pretty active um, until about form three. And I lost a good bit of weight. So um, I was what you call, um, I guess, skinny fat because um, I was slim. But I had no muscle definition. And yeah, I just, got, I, I lost a lot of fat because, um, just because of the cardio and the, the running up and down, playing and volleyball and stuff like that, I lost a lot of fat. But I did not, I was still eating very poorly, like in terms of, I would just eat whatever my mom cooks, right? And the good thing is that. I had a lot of home cooked meals and um, that is one thing about West Indian families like generally you have home cooked meals most days of the week so that was good and I really appreciated that but I had no sense of you know diet and healthy eating and stuff like that back then I was just eating whatever kept the weight off I think pretty well um, up to form three and then in form three I stopped playing volleyball so I put back on some weight and when I graduated in form five I had a bit of weight on me yeah <laughs> when I say weight I don't mean like I was obese or really really big but I was I was chubby I've always been chubby like I don't know how to quantify chubby for you guys but weight wise okay so in form three I went down to about like 120 I would hover around 120 pounds um, when I stopped volleyball in form three and uh, went on to like form five and my first year of tertiary education and so I probably my weight went up to like 140 right so from 120 to 140 and then I think it was back in 2010 if I remember correctly now the years are so fuzzy in my mind so it could have been around 2010, 2011, around there, I reached my all-time heaviest weight. So where I worked, um, they would have like these health days where they would have doctors come in every once in a while and they would check like your weight, your blood pressure, your blood sugar and stuff like that. So I went to do my test and I was so surprised to find out I was 178 pounds. And I didn't even notice all of that weight had crept on. So if you follow the progression, that was, that was like 120 in secondary school. And then up to 140 in tertiary education. Then when I started working, 
I jumped to 178 and I was a bit shocked I was like oh my 178 pounds and the thing is I carry my weight well so yes I might look chubby my face might get a little wrong but for the most part I carry my weight well so when I saw that I was like no no ain't no way no I am about five six right five 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 six somewhere around there there's no reason for me to be at 178 pounds like no and apart from that apart from just seeing that figure I wasn't feeling well I was feeling very tired and sluggish and it was that that made me I, I decided when I saw that I decided no no I'm not doing this I am going to lose this weight I made changes to my diet and um, I started exercising there's some very specific things I did but I want to document it properly and present it in a video to you guys so that it will be useful I don't I made at that point I made changes to my diet I started exercising and I lost the weight and I was able to keep it off up to this point right so I lost around 38 pounds so I was 178 and now I'm like 140 so I'm back to where I was in tissue education right? so that is the first half of my story I went from 120 to 140 to 178 and now I'm back to 140 the second half of my journey I want to go from 140 back to 120 so basically I want to go back to the weight that I was in secondary school but um, I also want to make some changes to my body composition because as I mentioned back in secondary school I lost a lot of weight I burned a lot of fat but I had no muscle at all I want to go back to 120 130 120 I'll be loose with the number because to me the weight doesn't really matter it's the look and the feel that I'm going for so the second half of my journey these are a few things um, what I want to achieve basically is uh, strength I need to build some muscle I need to be able to get some upper body strength my upper body is really really weak I want to get some muscle definition I want to be able to see like cuts in my arms and in my legs and in my abs like I don't want to be shredded but I want to see some muscle definition there yes I love how that looks and that is how I would like my body to look and most importantly I'm doing this in hopes of addressing my, the way that I feel generally like my energy levels and uh, um, just my overall feeling I want to feel well like when I wake up now on a morning it is so one it's so hard to wake up and two when I finally wake up I feel so tired so I am gonna purchase a body competition scale just to give me a um, I don't I know that they're not 100% accurate but I want to just look at it um, in terms of from where when I first weigh and see the changes that occur as I progress so that has been my fitness journey thus far um, and I will get into more detail concerning what I did in the first half and what I'm going to do in the second half of my journey and um, yeah I'm gonna do separate videos on those because I really want to do it justice and give you guys details because I am like if you know me at all I am a very like planned person like I need a plan I always need a plan so I want to write down my plan and share it with you guys in a way that could possibly be helpful to you and that's a bit about my fitness journey I hope that this video wasn't too rambly and that you were able to understand where I'm coming from and what i hope to achieve thank you guys so much for watching and if you have not subscribed as yet click that subscribe button i have a lot of great content coming up stay tuned i hope you guys have an awesome day and until next time take care bye